Hey there guys, welcome back to Texas Beer Reviews, and on this episode we will be looking at, excuse me, Blackberry Farm Brewery Brett Saison. So this is their Saison, um, fermented with uh, Botanomyces and aged in red wine barrels. Comes in at 6.3% alcohol by volume, and Blackberry Farm Brewery is out of Wallen, Tennessee. Uh, this is courtesy Jake. I've never had this beer. I've never had this beer. Jake's never had this beer. I've never even heard of these guys. These are brand new to me. Um, never knew they existed. So uh, pretty pretty excited to try this out. Love uh, wine barrel age stays on this course. So let's uh, get into it and see what we think. That's a nice car. It pours out a uh, light, kind of a lemony, golden uh, color. Slightly hazy. It's got a nice white head. Quite a... Cleans the glass pretty well there. A little frothy. Looks nice. So here's a little bit more orange. Get more yeah. at the bottom of the bottle there. Easier. Not filtered. Not filtered. Cool. Let's, uh, yeah, 100% bottle condition, of course. So let's check out the aroma. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's a little funky, but it's got that light, pillowy, kind of sweet malt to it as well. It's got the, get the oak. Yeah, pick up the oak. The tartness. Yeah, it's got some acidity to it. Not not intense, not um, sour or anything, of course, but light acidity. The nose kind of reminds me a bit of uh, Casey Saison, actually. You get some of that sweet red wine. Yeah. Yeah, that sweet red wine, too. It's also fantastic. I really like it, so check out the taste. Cheers. Oh yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, mm. Carbonation's uh, pretty effervescent too, um, but for the flavors, um, you know, it's a bit funky getting the Britannomyces, definitely getting the oak. Um, definitely the oak, especially on the back end, that oak back end, yeah. shines through. Definitely. Um, pretty dry, getting just a hint of bitterness too, like a woody type of uh, bitterness to it. Uh, I'm getting some red wine character. Some, like fruity Pinot Noir. Yeah. Probably. Le uh, very light acidity and also um, getting some of that traditional Saison yeast characteristics. The bubble gum, some clove, um, some bright kind of light sweet malts. Man. I really love the way this smells. This is awesome. You know what this really reminds me of, too? Um, a lot of, uh, a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more traditional style sense, but I feel like it has similar characteristics to uh, Treehouse's Native series, yeah. and um, like Hill Farmstead, some of their um, just regular saisons, Arthur, things like that. It's not acidic on the taste. No, it's, it's very, very, very light. Very light touch of acidity there. I'd like to see, I mean, I'm kind of interested to see if that would pick up over age. Um, yeah, I've had this for a couple months now. Okay. The brood bottled this year, you know? or I, I believe so. Probably so. It would be interesting where this kind of develops after a year or so. Um, but I really, really like it. Um, really well balanced, picking up a lot of stuff. I mean, you get the nice traditional Saison characteristics out of it, but with some of that red wine character, the oak, some funk. Very light acidity on the uh, um, taste there. I love the way the smell. The smell is incredible. Really nice, bright, funky, fruity, uh, awesome stuff. Really. What do you think about the body? Um, maybe like medium thin. I say medium thin. Yeah. Carbonation. It's starting to soften a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it is very, very, very bright. Um, Not real prickly, but kind of big bubbles yeah there. yeah definitely uh, but it's starting to soften a little bit as this is kind of sitting here in the glass uh, this is really good I could drink you know quite a bit of this I really like you know, I like traditional style saisons and I, I, I do like 
the uh, barrel characteristics on this, the Britannum ICs, you know. Um, would love a little bit more acidity on it for it to just, you know, kind of be like incredible, incredible. However, this is still really fantastic, really liking it a lot. Um, I'm kind of somewhere, I think I'm somewhere in between a 425 and a 405, honestly, because I think it's so well done. Uh, probably probably 4.25 plus on it. It's going to be 4.25. Yeah. I'm thinking on it. This is really, really well done, Saison, um, and uh, I think this would age probably pretty well, too. So, uh, But, yeah, um, awesome offering from Blackberry Farms Brewery. I'd like to try some more of their stuff, too. Yeah, they do a lot of regular Saisons. They did, a, like, a spring one and a summer one and a fall one, and they've got a winter Saison that just came out. It's like a dark Saison. Okay. So. Cool. It would be cool to try. Like they do farmhouse sales. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It would be cool to try some of that stuff out. So. This is an awesome first taste on their uh, their offerings, and uh, looking forward to some more maybe at some point. So, with all that said, it's pretty much it for Blackberry Farms Brett Saison. So I don't know what the distribution is like. You pick this up? Yeah, we have it in our store. Okay. So it looks like you know they distribute, of course, out of state. Um, so if you ever see it, um, assuming it's around that area, it doesn't come here to Texas, but you know Tennessee, Alabama, maybe somewhere in the southeast over there, check it out because um, really awesome. Um, Really awesome beer. So, with all that said, it's pretty much it for this episode. So, as always, think global, drink local, and cheers.